Have you ever considered how your eye scans across a landscape? I think most people assume that, like a video camera, it pans smoothly across the scene. But I don't actually think that's what happens. In truth, I think the eye jumps from image to image as it moves across this scene. So I'm going to try to find a volunteer to help me demonstrate that. What I'd like you to do is um, scan across this landscape as smoothly as you can. You can try that. <laughs> Tell me about the process of scanning across, you know, from the point. Um, it just feels like you're stopping and going and then like stopping and going and yeah, it just feels like there's a, like there's a pause all the time, constantly when you're going across. It's not like you're just looking straight across. Yeah, it's not smooth. The eye is capable of tracking smoothly, however. If something moves across your field of view, your eye can lock onto it and move smoothly with it. What I'd like to do is, I'd like to repeat that little game, but I would like to ask you just to walk across on those rocks, mm -hmm. and then I'd like you to, to s like follow her along with your eyes. Okay. Is that possible? Yeah. Okay, let's fine. give it a shot. Do you want to go okay. over there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, go, yeah, go for it. Can I just get your reaction on, on what that was like? How, how was that, that the felt, same or different? That felt a lot smoother because I was following something instead of just looking at something. Yeah, I don't know, just like if you follow something, you're just your brain focuses on that one thing and you just kind of just go with it. Why would that be useful to be able to pan with a moving object? How does that affect our perception of motion? Well, I think it makes most motion seem quite smooth and makes it more difficult for us to determine when things are accelerating. One last question since I've got you guys here. So what I want to do is I want to drop the ball. I want you guys to watch it and then tell me how the ball moved. Okay. Is that fair enough? Okay. So you want us to watch it till it hits the ground? Watch it till it hits the ground. Okay. And then afterwards you're going to tell me how yeah. it moved. Okay. Three, okay, two, one. I'll do, I'll do it just one more. Three, two, one. Could you tell me about the motion of the ball? What, what, what was it doing as it went down? It's fast. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just seemed like it just dropped. Like it wasn't even moving. It, you just seen the ball drop yeah. to the floor and that was it. You didn't see it like here. You just saw it from there to there. Yeah. Would, you, would you say its speed was constant or do you think its speed was changing? Constant. constant. Yeah, it was the same. Yeah. The whole way down? Yeah. No acceleration. The goal of my whole experiment today, I'll let you guys yeah. in on the secret is to point out that the eye tracks motion very smoothly. So when the ball like goes down, it's really easy for us to track that. Yeah. And it looks like it's just doing one constant thing. But in fact, it is speeding up the whole time. When I release it, it's not moving at all. And when it hits the ground, it's actually going quite fast. So that, that was kind of my point. If you scan across like a, a stationary scene, then your eye is doing this weird jumpy thing. Yeah. yeah. But then if you're actually moving with an object or with a person or something, then your eyes are so There's smooth yeah. that you don't even notice yeah. yeah, but something that's still and you have to move, that's when it starts to jump. But if it's something moving, your eyes have to follow that. It's much easier. Yeah, yeah I understand. Excellent.